In this video, I want to prove the formula for area of sector when the angle is measured in radians. So let me write the formula. Area of a sector. In the formula sheet, you may have this formula. Area of a sector is half r squared theta. Theta is the angle of the sector where theta is in radians. Theta is in radians. So I hope you know what's a sector. So let me draw a circle. Say a sector is a part of a circle. Say this is a circle. And say this is the center. Say this is the center. And if I draw or if I cut a slice out of it, imagine this is a slice. Okay. And the angle at the center is theta. And this is the radius of R this is r and so this area this is called a minor sector so this is also a sector this is a big major sector so this is say let me call this a sector and we want to find the formula for area of this sector a slice imagine a cake and you cut a slice from the center so that's called a sector so uh, the idea is very simple Imagine, okay, so let me draw one more circle. Imagine you've got a circle, okay, and say I could have copied the same thing, yeah. Let me delete it. Let me copy this so that you copy and let me paste it here. Okay, so that's the same circle. So, and say this is a center, this is center here, yeah, and if you draw, uh, if you draw a full turn, okay, now before I talk in radians, I hope you know, 360 degrees is how many radians? Is 2 pi radians. 2 pi radians. This is one fact that you should be knowing. Imagine you've got a point. Uh, let me draw a radius. Okay. So yeah, imagine this is a point P. Okay, or this is, imagine this to be a wiper. Okay, a, vi a wiper. Imagine this wiper rotates 360 degree or 2 pi radians. It will cover how much of the area of the circle? Well, 2 pi is 360 degree. So let us let me make up a table or a, two columns. Suppose a, uh, angle and area. So let me write angle. Okay and area so this is thinking in a very proportional simple proportional manner so well we can say if this wiper rotates three six sorry two pi radians let's say if it rotates two pi radians red is understood we can say it has covered the area of the circle which is pi r squared so using the same logic if this is a wiper, imagine this is the same wiper. If this wiper moves an angle of theta, how much area will it cover? Well, it covers the area of the sector. So that is equal to, we can say that is area of sector. Area of sector. So now these two are ratios. So can you see... Uh, the ratio of this would be equal to the ratio of this. So can I say like this, 2 pi over theta is equal to pi r squared over the area of sector. Area of sector. Most of the formulas can be proved by just using proportional understanding. So you can cross multiply, so you can say 2 pi times area of sector, 2 pi times area of sector is equal to theta times, I'll write it here, so theta times pi r squared, theta times pi r squared. So let me divide both sides by 2 pi. If you divide this side by 2 pi, you can also divide this side by 2 pi. So the pi's gets cancelled. So what is left is 
this also gets cancelled so we can say area of sector area of any sector is theta r squared theta times r squared over 2 and that is same as writing half r squared times theta so let me give you an example so if you want to use this rule you don't you can prove this yourself say let me take an example to illustrate this suppose you got a circle and then you want to find what's the angle what's the area of a sector so this is radius of say five centimeters or five units and this angle is say uh, 60 degree okay so applying the formula the area of the sector is half r squared theta of course 60 degree should be in radians so which is in radians how many pi by 3 the area 60 degree is pi by 3 radians because theta should be in radians for this formula so area is half r squared theta which is half times r squared what is 5 squared which is 25 times pi by 3 which is how much this is 25 pi over 25 pi over 6 so the area of this sector 25 pi over 6 or using logic the area so if you want to do directly without this formula how would you do so we know well when the angle is 2 pi if the angle is 2 pi the area is pi r squared okay so if the angle is pi by 3 so this has this is so what will be the area so 2 pi has got how many lots of pi by 3 so 60 degree so you have to times it by 6 isn't it 2 pi 2 pi divided by 6 isn't it so if you divide this by okay so yeah so this means this has got if you have to so 2 pi divided by 6 gives you pi by 3 so you have to do the same thing here so divide by 6 which is pi r squared over 6 which is what you got 25 r squared is 25 so 25 pi over 6 so you may use this formula and even if you don't know the formula you can use proportional knowledge to find uh, the area of a sector or think in a different way can you understand this is one sixth of the this is one sixth of pi r squared because you've got six sectors of 60 degree in 360 so which is one sixth times pi times 25 which is 25 pi by 6.